All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the webinar um, this Thursday morning, 10 a.m., like I always have. Actually, that's probably going to be changing, but we'll get into that in a little bit here. Um, good morning. Welcome to uh, webinars here with Heath Flynn. I'm your host, I'm Director of Digital Marketing here at West USA Realty. Excited to have you guys on this morning. We're going to be talking about um, writing a bio, uh, writing a killer bio for your real estate needs. Um, this will be a short one for you guys today here. Just some great food for thought. Uh, some tips, suggestions for you. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. Just some some slides here, some takeaways. Of course, this is recorded. So if you have any uh, distractions, need to take a call, whatever, um, you can always catch this recording. Whoops, let's make sure I let everybody in the waiting room. You will be able to catch this recording on our YouTube channel with all of our other webinars. Um, and then obviously watch that at your leisure. If you have any questions or you want to unmute yourself or jump in the chat box there, answer answer ask any questions as we're moving along. Happy to help out and uh, answer those for you as we get going. Um, in addition to the recording for this webinar, we obviously have a lot of our other webinars and classes that I've taught um, that are also um, that are also on our YouTube channel, Canva, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Facebook closed groups, LinkedIn, uh, Google My Business. I mean, just pretty much all the necessities that for you guys as real estate agents need to be focusing on when it comes to digital advertising and having a great online presence. And so we've tried to cover a lot of those hot topics for you in past webinars. You can find those recordings on our YouTube channel. Let's hope I don't keep smacking this microphone and <laughs> um, then uh, knock it out of the way. So uh, with that, before we get rocking and rolling, like we always like to do, just a hat tip. Thank you to our sponsors. Um, we are lucky enough to have some great vendors who service you guys, help you guys out as real estate agents and do what you do here at West USA. We've got some preferred ones that we'd like to always say thank you to sponsoring and helping out and providing. Okay, everyone's jumping in. Man, we got some good, good folk in here today. Um, so when it comes to crafting a bio, it's important. And so obviously uh, we want to um, you know have all of our classes. We have these great sponsors. So uh, real quick, Jill St. Croix with Great American Title, awesome title agency. And if you have any questions at all, they also help out with great content creation for social media. So feel free to reach out to Jill and uh, she um, will be a great resource for you. Uh, Bree over at the Robert Cromer Group, uh, great lender, LO. Um, they have some great business development opportunities for uh, other LOs. If you know someone is looking to move over or if you're looking for someone to help you guys out as a real estate agent, reach out to Bree, great contact. And of course, Knock, awesome program. Uh, knock offers uh, a lot of buyers and sellers um, more power when it comes to finding that house before you got to get out of your house. And so they've got some awesome programs over there. Reach out to Shelly Smith from Knock and she'd be happy to help out. All right, we just got people jumping in the weight room. So I do apologize if I seem distracted at times. I am monitoring the weight room as people are jumping in. But for those of you who are here, you're in a good spot because we're ready to rock and roll. So bio, right? Why do we need a bio? Uh, whether we are putting a bio on our website, on our Facebook page, in LinkedIn, um, um, any of your social media platforms, you'd be surprised that, you know, uh, having a fundamental bio is important because it really does give people a quick Snapchat, Snapchat, <laughs> snapshot, boy, so many buzzwords when it comes to social media. Um, it gives them a, a, a snapshot of who you are and what you do. And so we'll talk about things to avoid, things to put in your bio, but for the premise of this webinar, we're going to talk about short bios, right? Now, writing a long bio, a thousand word bio is pretty uh, uh, taxing. So creating a short bio, the, the who, what, when, where, and the nuts and bolts of it is going to be the best thing for you, especially if it's going to be on your Zillow page or your realtor.com, uh, you know, any of your social media sites. Uh, covering those details is important because um, in today's world, we are... We are, our attention span is very short. <laughs> and so folks want to learn about you very quickly. And I do apologize if I keep moving myself around there. That's just so that you guys can see this beautiful text that I've got here. So um, number one, when it comes to writing a real estate bio, ground rules, right? For you guys. Number one, just, um, this is crazy. I know this is going to sound um, contradictory, but it's not about you. It's about your client. Yes, this bio is about how you've helped others and what you can, what they can expect from you as a real estate agent, but um, um, 
it really is focusing on your prospective buyer and seller. And so we'll talk about some how, some ways you can talk about yourself, but not sound like you're talking about yourself. You know, every single word that you write in your real estate bio needs to be written with the purpose of resonating and make a connection with your audience, forming a bond with your reader before they may even have a need or know they have a need or know someone who has a need. And so um, you, you can, uh, an example I give you there, you can organize uh, and Marie Kondo, for those guys, for those who don't know, Marie Kondo is a professional organizer. You can Marie Kondo your home all you want. Um, but if you run out of square footage, that's going to be problem. It's time for you to move up, right? We're looking for people who are moving on up. So uh, if you're tired of the clutter, I can help. I specialize in helping families move up in a new, bigger home that provides more room for them. Well, for everything, honestly. So that's just a little idea, suggestion, snippet for writing a bio where you're not focusing on I, 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 but more of what you've done to help. And this was the situation. And so a lot of people will connect with this and it will resonate with them because we've all been in that situation before where we needed to move up. Uh, I was in a two bedroom, two uh, story home with my wife, our first home. We had a son. We wanted to have and continue to grow our family. We knew we needed to move up because we were running out of space. And so utilizing those stories in your bio is a great play for you guys as real estate agents. Excuse me, storytelling is a big part of what you do. And so you can leverage those storytelling opportunities in your bio to show what differentiates you from your competition. Number two, show your personality. Um, it's a, this is a big one. You know, we've got a lot of people who, um, um, you know, have great stories about who they are and what they do. And, um, you know, amazed by how many people uh, write a real estate bio that shares a ton of personal information, but yet they really just don't tell the whole story, you know, who you are. Um, uh, speak to who you are, your personality, or your character. Use humor if you're comfortable with this one. I like using humor. I'm, uh, you know, got bad dad jokes and so, but comfortable for me to use humor to connect. It makes it personal, light, and fun. Example there I put down, when I'm not helping uh, clients find their dream home, you can find me in my backyard working on my herb garden. I always got time for that. So a little pun, I know, shrimp shot. But um, you know, those are, those are little fun things that you could do to add to your personality and to make a better bio. Um, man, there's just a lot of people jumping in, creating a better bio for you there. Um, again, we're managing our reputation. And so, and we're setting expectations about our reputation. And so your personality is a big part of who you are and people want to feel that connection, especially for millennials. A lot of time, first time home, home buyers, millennials, as I mentioned before in my other classes, they are not susceptible to traditional forms of advertising. They want to feel a connection and a bond with a product or a service before they make a buying decision. And so your short bio will give them an opportunity to get a quick glimpse into who you are and to see if you're likable. Are you somebody that I want to get into business with and I want to have help me out as a real estate agent? Number three there for you guys, stay local. This is a big one for all of us. As you guys know, uh, focusing on local. Um, real estate is, you know, is a hyper-local business. We need to be the expert neighborhood mayors for our neighborhoods. And so your readers should know within seconds which community it is that you serve. The community references should be sprinkled throughout your bio. And if you've been impactful in any way with a local hyper-local organization that services an area, that's another great opportunity for you to add that into your bio and you know, showcase uh, you're more than just a sales rep. You know, you're uh, someone who's a connector. You're a real estate agent who's in the know and you can utilize those experiences to showcase in your bio as well. And, and, and going back real quick, when we talk about your audience. Um, in most cases, they're simply looking, to, you're looking to reassure your clients that uh, you know your stuff, that you are who you are and you get results done. And, and in that, um, they'll start to find your social media accounts, they'll find your social media pages, your LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. And they will see that you have social proof. You not only are who you say you are, but here's all your examples of the work that you've done. And um, if, um, if you, you know, if you, if you want to specialize in empty nesters, uh, people who are downsizing, as I, we just gave an example about moving up, um, you, here's how you've helped those people accomplish those uh, goals that they wanted to um, achieve. 
and get into the home that they most uh, are most desirable, as well as sell the home for those agents who are looking to move or customers. Sorry. Okay, so um, some real estate bio suggestions or ground rules for you guys. Number four, be authentic. This is a really big one, and I know that um, when um, when um, uh, I'm talking with agents. You know, everybody feels like they need to put on a show about who they, you know, what they are, or, or, or they put they put out there a lot what they, they're really not. And so um, when I say you do you, uh, if you're a natural storyteller, mentioned a little bit ago, craft an original story in your bio um, uh, that talks about how you help somebody else, uh, you know, uh, move from out of state or downsize or uh, find an investment home. Again, your niche, whatever it is for you. Showcase that example of how you've helped in your bio. Uh, if you're if they if you're someone who's analytical, then um, you know stick to the facts and explain market st stats, statistics, you know uh, likelihood of getting into a home, pre qualifying, you know some of those important uh, analytical aspects to being a real estate agent and helping your clients. Try to be someone else is is a, is a recipe for da disaster, and. Um, you will find that you won't match well with other folks who are vetting you out as a real estate agent. And so being authentic is important. And it's also important to add that into uh, your bio because again, we're just consuming your content in a quick snippet. We're scrolling through our phone. We're le leading, reading the nuts and bolts of who you are and getting to determine whether or not you, we want you to be our agent. So, um, so number uh, uh, one for some suggestions, real estate bio suggestions for you guys. Um, Put together basically um, uh, just a couple of quick suggestions when you're creating your bio. One of the big ones is as a real estate professional, you need professional headshots. Um, and in addition to having a crafted emotive bio, having professional shots is really important. And a photo taken by a friend on a cell phone really isn't going to cut it. So uh, I've taught about smartphone, smart video um, um, class. I have a, a webinar several on YouTube that you can reference in regards to shooting video and photography with your smartphone. You can accomplish that uh, with your um, with your phone, but you, you need to you know have some tactics and, and some tips that, that make it better when you only have access to a smartphone. Um, so um, that doesn't mean that your photo needs to be all stuffy. I want you guys to take, uh, take um, uh, your photos and get out of the portrait era, portrait studio mode. Get out from, you know, being in a room with a backdrop. Get outside, take some cool shots, create some depth between you and your background. Um, if you're comfortable with learning about photography, having something cool in the foreground, like sometimes maybe it's the lid to the monitor or to your, uh, to your laptop. And it's a little bit out of focus because the focus is on you. So learning about your three, your foreground, midground, and the background um, learning about that and taking some really cool shots will help you um, put out some great brand marketing shots. Right now, uh, um, there's a, there's a, a several photographers that um, you can Google that do really great brand marketing shots. Not just your traditional headshot, but shots that actually get you out and about. You could do some semi-candid shots. <clears throat> Those are also great. Um, semi-candid uh, secondary shots, you know, working with clients, shaking someone's hand. You can stage these shots if you have a friend or family member or colleague who can uh, uh, work with you. You know th they're not so much in the shot, but you are. We wouldn't see their identity, but they're just over their shoulder or they're shaking your hand or the shots from behind, and it's you passing them some papers. You know in in the process of being a real estate agent. So um, if you're promoting yourself or a family friend member, uh, a family friendly vibe then get some shots with you working with family members that's a great opportunity to also showcase um and connect with your audience all right number two for suggestions keep your bios paragraphs sentences short so uh readers panic when they see a wall of text uh, we see a very large bio we freak out uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, our attention span is very short now. Uh, we're like, you know, uh, shorter than goldfish going back and forth uh, in, a, in, a, in the tank. Oh, I haven't been over here yet. Oh, I haven't been over here yet. Um, so keep it bite-sized. When we say bite-sized content, uh, content, that's with any of your social media, but especially with your bio, um, think of 20-word um, sentences. Keep them short. 
And a full bio should be somewhere between 250 to 500 words. And so um, one of the resources that I know a lot of agents like to work with and, and a lot of people in general with bio is fiverr.com, F-I-V-V-E-R.com. Fiverr is a great global uh, freelance marketplace for any of us to find all kinds of resources from, um, you name it, from uh, graphic design, um, uh, media packets, press kits, bio creation, whatever it is you're looking for, editors, resume writers, it's endless on all the uh, freelancers you can find on fiverr.com. So if you want some help writing a bio, crafting it, um, there's some great copywriters who write bios professionally and can extract some information from you with a simple questionnaire and then craft that for you. Um, bonus for you guys, I see this a lot in bios, um, no goals. You know, I, I, it's great to have goals, but your business goals don't really mean anything to your potential client. So try to leave out, you know, this year I hope to achieve, you know, $500 million in sales. And, you know, that, that, that can come off a little boasty. And so goals are not really important to your clients. So make it about them. Again, keeping your bio about how you've serviced and helped others in the home buying and selling process is going to be super beneficial for you. And it will resonate and you will make more of a connection, which will help you with building more relationships. After all, you guys know this as real estate agents, it is about uh, creating relationships and forming those into the point where when they do have a need, they think of you and, uh, and uh, or they know someone who does. Um, lastly, I want to leave you guys with this one here, five uh, parts to a good bio template. So number one, open with a different differentiator. Um, um, when you have a good differentiator, what that does is it's going to, it's going to, um, it's like starting with the wow factor, right? What is it about you? That's like, wow, right? What should clients, um, what is it about you that will have clients choose you over your competition? What is your difference? Uh, the differentiator also called a unique value proposition is a great way to start off with your bio on, on introducing yourself and make sure that it's clear and concise. Um, you know, again, no fluff, keep it real, keep it simple and keep it direct to the, uh, to the, um, to the topic. Number two, demonstrate your local expertise. Um, are you a local expert? Great. Um, uh, do, um, you know, do you work with anybody in the community member, community members in the area, small business owners, um, um, uh, you know, local schools, you know, being in touch with what's happening in your community is a big aspect to you being a real estate agent and demonstrating that is a great tactic for you in your template. Boy, I'm telling you, my voice is just killing here. Uh, number three, provide relevant stats and explain what that, uh, what they mean for your reader. So why should your clients care that you closed 50 transactions in the last year or that you sold, you know, $25 million in real estate over the course of your career? Um, you know, if you're a high value uh, producer, you've had a lot of transactions, explain the experience, how it's made, um, how it's made you a better agent, how it's helped you with your systems, um, how it's made you more effective at finding inventory. Um, if you have a high value, a high value portfolio, explain to um, them that this, uh, that you you specialize in this area of luxury market for a reason and um, give them a little history as to why you have chosen um, that uh, as part of your expertise. Again, choosing uh, what's going to be best for you up, moving up, uh, probate, uh, investment properties, again, finding a niche and then explaining to the reader why this is your passion about that and why that you've chosen to be in that, um, uh, that uh, channel. And again, remember, when you are defining yourself, you're screening either those who are looking for you or you're screening out the ones who are not looking for you. And so that helps you get to your uh, buyer and seller much more faster. Uh, number four, there's show some love to the community. Now, this is a big one. Uh, again, falling back into being the neighborhood mayor and the hyper niche uh, in your area. Um, excuse me. Um, it's great to tie personal information like your hobbies and fun things you've done with the community. Um, it keeps your personal information relevant. And uh, if you're a runner or if you're a hiker or you're someone who likes to get out in the community and do fun things like a museum or a foodie, 
this is not only going to showcase your uh, your likes, because again, we want others who share the same interest to connect with us. It's being in rapport with them. But um, when you have those um, those traits, those interests that others share, you're going to connect with those people more quickly. And especially if you're in the closed groups, uh, if you join a closed group or you're in a closed group, use your little bit of your bio or a link to your bio to introduce yourself to the community. And especially if it's an interest group of those who share the same interests as you, in your bio, you're explaining why you're joining this group. And that's a great tool for you there. Um, <clears throat> and, and of course, any local affiliations, board memberships, um, you know, remind your, your prospective clients that um, you have industry connections. And if you might, you meet someone who's in those industries, again, it's just really building revel relevance and connecting with the potential client. Uh, number five there, last one there, close with a call to action. This one is often um, uh, goes undone and, and I, I don't see this a lot. And so it's really important to have a close uh, call to action um, and uh, on a strong note, inviting your reader, inviting your contact to um, you know, connect with you. Email me for more to learn more about call text for a free market home evaluation. Um, remind your prospective clients that you have um, uh, um, 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 you know, more information to give and this is how they're going to get it. Um, call me, email, text, uh, tell your contact what you want to do, what you want them to do at the very end of when they're reading your bio. I see, and then, so leaving that call to action will entice them and encourage them to connect with you so that you can build your database even some more. All right, so you know what? I, I wasn't lying. That was a short and sweet one. I kept it really, like 30 minutes is what I was going for today. So if you guys have any questions or comments, um, hopefully that information, short, concise content creation for your bio. Um, there's a lot to a bio. You can write a thousand word bio. For you guys who like to write and you have a lot to say, I encourage you to write a long form version, get it all out on the paper, and then use the tips and suggestions and ideas that I gave you today to narrow that down to a nice little snackable 250 to 500 word bio. And then make sure you go around to all of your places that you are on the internet, LinkedIn, uh, your website, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Instagram is going to limit you to 155 characters, so maybe even burrow it down to a little bit more, but starting big is a nice pillar of content. And then you, from that, you can pull out little pieces all the way through. Um, I've seen large bios, which includes testimonials from clients, maybe one just gem of a resume or review and add it into um, the bio. Completely up to you. But uh, shorten to me today, email me. I'm Keith, K-E-I-T-H at westusa.com. Uh, connect with me on social media. I'd love to follow you if I'm not already see what content you're putting out and obviously engage, comment, like, share with you guys, do all the fun stuff that helps our social media and our online presence grow. Um, I don't know what we're doing next Thursday. Just keep an eye on westusacalendar.com for our upcoming webinars. And I will put some uh, new content out for June coming up. Guys, a uh, happy summer. I know it's getting hot out there. So stay cool, stay safe, and remember to be kind to one another. And we will see you guys next week. Have a great day.